What's up, America? I got some crazy news for you today. The next round of layoffs will start at the $100,000 level. I'm going to tell you why, and it will make sense based upon the things that you have seen over the last few months. But this is really crazy, and it will also illustrate why when you start a business, you got to produce. Hey, if this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go below, get 30 days for 2,500, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, get those tools so you can begin working on your side business today. The Corona, the Corona has exposed the weak American economy. The Corona has exposed the unemployment system. The Corona has exposed who's working and who's not working in corporate America. Right now, there are many C-level executives looking at all these people who are working from home. And what's being discovered is who's working and who's not. And they're starting to question the value of X amount of people. Because see, when you have a job, you're able to hide amongst the other workers. And many, many people, I, I got this crazy story of this girl that I used to work with who literally would just work so hard not to do work. And it was very, very frustrating because the rest of us were producing and she wasn't carrying her share of the load. But what the corona has exposed by having people work at home, who can work at home and who can't. And there are many, many people who are unable to work autonomously. They, they just don't have the skill sets, they don't have the discipline, they don't know how to work from home. And this has been exposed. And the next round of layoffs are gonna be these white collar jobs because remember, in my video where I talked about the coming hostile employment environment, it's starting to ramp up because they're like, why are we paying Jill, $150,000 a year when John is producing more than Jill and we only pay John 75. Hmm. The, this, the, the numbers are being crunched. Productivity is being measured. And this is the craziest thing because this is going, and this, this is something that the Corona has produced because it forced so many people to work at home. And Essentially, you, you like, I'm going to give you the template for working at home that many people don't have in the place. But right now, there are a lot of people who are looking at the productivity, who's responding, who's doing the work, who's showing up. All of this stuff is coming to, to a head. You know, the, the executives are looking and it, it's just the craziest thing. And this is going to be something that's going to be endemic of the employment environment for a while because one of the things is that a lot of the companies started to lose their customers and they couldn't afford to keep these six figure employees on staff. But let's talk about working from home. If you work from home, you need a dedicated office. It shouldn't be the living room. Doesn't need to be the kitchen table. It should be a spare bedroom that you can turn into an office. I have worked from home since 2009 and I've always had a spare room in the house to dedicate as my office. Why do you need an office? When you go to the office, your behavior changes. You, you start to reset. You start to have a better read upon your day. I've heard many people talk in videos about they were dealing with company XYZ and they were dealing with this employee and they heard children crying in the background, they heard TV, and also during a Zoom call, one guy decided to whack off. So humans, humans, there are just not many people that don't have the discipline or the knowledge to work from home. And this is starting to creep up and this is becoming a huge, huge problem. 
So the next round, and this is, this is a function of business because when you run a business, you wanna get the most out of your employees. And when you are clearly seeing that X employee who's making X amount of dollars is not producing as well as employee B who makes less, that gets your attention. That, that's just normal business. It gets your attention. It comes up and people are starting to really pay attention to this because the corona is a mofo. The corona is just exposing people because essentially what was the tide or Warren Buffett said, when the tide goes out, you see who's swimming naked. When the tide goes out, you see who's working. And this is like, this is going to hit every industry. This is going to hit every category because so many people had to work from home. And also, if you work from home, th and this is one of the reasons that so many people who were living in apartments are buying homes. Well, that's part of the reason because the interest rates are really, really low and they're in a situation where they can qualify for a house. So they're buying houses, but this is one of the reasons so you can have more room to work from home this is one of the biggest reasons that a lot of people are buying houses because they still got their jobs they're working from home and they're finding out that working from home in the little tiny cramped apartment is not working it just isn't so you need a little space to spread out but yes the next round of layoffs or starting at the 100K level. And this is going to displace a lot of highly paid people and put them on unemployment. Now they will, even with the, the additional $600, which runs out next month, they will not be caking. They will be suffering because if you have a six figure salary, more than likely you have a six figure lifestyle and these people are going to be hurting. And this is one of the reasons then un unemployment is gonna remain high because now market forces are starting to kick in and create this new level of drama. Yeah. So, and also I've told you guys that whatever job you have, you should work as hard as you can. You, because the habits, because a lot of people who are working from home right now have really bad habits and it's gonna backfire on them because they're gonna lose that job. This is what the environment we're running into. And it's just gonna keep getting worse and it's gonna keep getting worse and it's gonna keep worse because this is why I tell you guys to start a side business because when you have a side business for you to make money, you have to show up, you have to perform, which is something you don't have to do to keep your job. And a lot of people are just coasting. And that coasting is about to come to an end because I guarantee you over the next five years, all of these people who have these six figure jobs who were just showing up for the check and hiding behind the other employees, they've been exposed by the coronavirus. And one by one, they're gonna lose their jobs and then they're gonna have to develop some real marketable skills and they're really gonna have to start working. This, this is the craziest thing. So I, I'm gonna post an article that talks about this below, but Right now, this is going on. The corona, the corona has just, it's just messing up everything. It's messed up the economy. It's messed up people's lives. It's messed up the world. And it keeps going. It just keeps going. So what I want you to do is go below and get 30 days to 2,500. Get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind so you, of su success. And if you're in the position get the money management course. I, I'm telling you, the money management course is incredibly important if you want to manage your money correctly, because it's kind of like this thing with work, where there are some people who are hiding behind people who are not really working. Well, the, they're hiding behind the people who are really working and they're being exposed by this coronavirus. What this will expose for you is how badly you handle your money. And also be sure to subscribe to Savage Finance. 
that's going to get you your financial education. So be sure to do that. So that's all I got for you guys today. There's another video right here. You should check it out. You should check it out.